Hello Royals <laughs> It's your girl Queen Hadaza <laughs> And this is Going to be like my first episode Of like you know I said confessions of a Christian but I was thinking I'm not always going to be confessing something So it need to be some like Conversation of a Christian you know And the first point of conversation I want to bring up is that word Christian. Like I ran from it after I found out some truth, you know, I ran from it. And, but that, that, that runaway became full circle. And I understand that I am a uh, believer in Christ, you know, so I can be called a Christian, not, not the religious kind. I, I, you know, I run away from that. So, you know, um, it's something very spiritual, you know, um, but, Anyway, how y'all doing? I'm over here resting. The baby is literally in the bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm testing this whole, you know, microphone lay next to the baby and see if she's going to wake up thing. I'm choosing violence. <laughs> but no, um... Delivery had the baby. I'm excited. I am in transition. Um, I'm not in my final destination right now, but I am safe and I am sound and I am whole and uh, I am well. And uh, I just wanted to come on here and let everybody know that I miss y'all and I'm doing good. And I wanted you know, you know the know, Lord wants me to start this. Um channel and I it, we've been going back and forth I, because he wants me to start from the beginning you know I say well Lord what's the word you know from the beginning God created the heaven and earth from the beginning your story you have a story from the beginning Trisha Hadaza you know you have a story from the beginning so with you having that story from the beginning you need to tell it like I'm showing it to you from the beginning You know I was like okay So I was like so you know what's that And through my healing he was like well through your healing You learned your first thought was Your first Your first your first memory Your first memory you know the first thing that you Remember What what is that And I learned through my healing And my purification process That My first Like memory is of me being abused. Uh oh, somebody's waking up. Talking too loud. I'm talking too loud. But my first memory, my first memory is of me being abused. Of uh, me being molested by a close family member of mine, and. Even seeing God in that, which is weird, but I did. And I've always remembered that. Didn't know I was going to be on this journey and become this person who I am now and where I am now, you know. But I've always known that in the middle of me being molested, I saw Jesus Christ. I saw the Spirit, you know. Like for real I'm like why is he doing this Like what's going on And I and I felt like you know The Lord was telling me It's a learning experience I'm with you Don't worry about it You know and years later you know you have to keep that in you You have to keep that Same energy You feel me you know Would have been a learning experience Learning how to forgive Not forgetting you know being wise But still loving you know, so even through the years, you know, you have to learn that once these things happen to you, like molestation, and you know, you have to learn these things because if you don't, it's going to eat you alive, and then you're going to, you know, you're going to be a self destructive person, you know. So, um, that was my first memory, and so going through life, you know, when things like that happen to. A person, you know, I could say specifically a female like me. We usually have like two main choices. You can um, lash out at other people, hurt other people, maybe molest other people, abuse other people. You know, you could do that or you can lash out at yourself and hurt yourself. 
and abuse yourself. You know, I chose to lash out at myself. I could never, it turns my stomach to even think of hurting a child, let alone just a person, period. You know, but mainly a child, like, that's gross, right? So, I would hurt myself. I would lash out at myself. You know, I would do certain things. Like, I, I didn't know my worth. Um, I was promiscuous at times of my life, you know. Um, I thought, I took sex as a sport no emotion and that's dangerous you know it really is because people have emotions you know people have feelings and if you do a lot you feel me a lot can be done to you type of thing you know I had to learn that over the years you feel me but that it was all a systematic um it was all a a symptom or a you know, complication of what happened to me, you know, when I was younger, you know, so, and you know, you think you forgive people, you know, but then God will uh, give you more reasons to forgive them even deeper, you know, so it's like, okay, but he wanted me to share that with y'all on this first conversation with a Christian, you feel me, he wants me to share the fact that my first memory was of me being defiled you know but look at me now I am more than a conqueror I am fearfully and wonderfully made I am the head and not the tail I am the lender not the borrower I am blessed going in and coming out okay it's a lot more than I am <laughs> and this and this I just want to encourage somebody you know, I want to encourage somebody today to not be so hard on yourself. And not even be so hard on the people that offended you. Because I later found out that person that molested me, they were being molested. So, that kind of put me in the area of healing and forgiving I was like wow so it happened to him too that's a learned behavior you know that's something that you take from one thing to the next and then this person it's you and you don't know the the chain has to be broken the cycle has to stop and it, it usually does with me like I've broken so many chains in my family um in my family spiritualness like in in our in in our in our family I break I'm the chain breaker I'm the one that's going to tell it I'm the one that's going to expose it I'm the one that's going to come up against it rebuke it cast it down I'm the one that's going to beat it up send it back to his make <laughs> like in the name of Jesus you know so I'm used to having to go through warfare you know, warfare is what my name is, Queen Hadassah the Warrior, because warfare is something that um, I do best. Spiritual warfare, like, you know, just standing on it. And it's hard sometimes, and I'm not perfect, and we all fall short, you know. But it's just like, what are you falling short? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you falling short here or are you falling short here? Like, like it's some differences for real. You know, it's conditions to this thing. You feel me? Our God, he loves us and he gives us mercy. But if you're going to be part of his chosen team, like, if you're going to be part of the elite, and you definitely, definitely got to stay on aligned with the word. You know, got to stay, you know, Keeping him first, no matter what he give you, you know, no matter what God gives you, keep him, keep him first because he can take it away. Period. I don't care how you say he do it; he can do it, you know, through allowing the enemy to to attack you. He can do it to himself, you know. Either way, it go is him, and he can take it away. And when he take it away, how it's your response that matter. Like, are you gonna be, oh, why have these spite me? You know, and all this is like, bro, just chill out, bro. Just you know, don't change who you are just because you ain't got what you had. You feel me? Be ready to let all of it go at a drop of a dime for your God. You feel me? Don't put nothing before your God. No man, no child, no material thing. Nothing. Nothing. 
and he will take total care of you. He will commission other people to help you. He will make sure you never strike your foot upon a stone. Like real life Psalms 91. You know, so I just want everybody to understand that, you know, we ask for him to forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You know, so I'm here to say, just like I said, thank you to everybody that helped me. I'm here to say thank you to to the ones that didn't, to the ones that, that don't like me or the ones that speak bad upon me. I'm praying for you, too. In the name of Jesus, I, I pray that God find you, you know, wherever you are. You feel me? And allow his love to cover you, his understanding, his knowing, you know, to cover you, you know, because I love everybody, period. You know, I, I went through a lot. That is my first memory. But yet, still here I am, sitting here loving everybody, healed, whole, complete, standing in my victory. You can do it too. I am a testimony. I just had the most beautiful little girl in the world. <laughs> And she is my everything, right along with the ones I already had. They are my everything, you know. So, just keep it 100 with God. Keep it 100 with God. Keep it real with Him. Keeping it real with Him is keeping it real with yourself. If you can't keep it real with yourself, who you keeping it real to? And what for? You feel me? So that's it. I've been talking for like 16 minutes. I wasn't trying to or something like that. But <laughs> I love y'all. Thank y'all. She didn't really wake up. She woke up a little bit, but not a lot. I let her sleep on her stomach. When I'm woke Because I'm like who, who sleeps on their back all day So you know I'll rotate her Or whatever Or like, sleep on her stomach Or whatever But when I'm woke But yeah So she's really deep In some sleep right now <laughs> But like I said Thank you to everybody And I love everybody And I just pray to everybody You know Continue to go on their spiritual journey And learn Because it's, it's a journey It's a journey It's a journey It's a journey You feel me <laughs> 